Greetings, this is Buona from Buona.tv and today I'm answering another question. I can't speak today. Today I'm answering another question, uh, which comes by way of email. If you got a question, I'll remind you, you can ask me questions two ways. These are the most effective ways to ask me questions. First way is on Twitter. You can ask a question and then put a hashtag, which is a pound sign, and then, then the, uh, the tag Buona TV QA. All one word, Buona TV QA. You can do that. That's the first way. Second way is you can email me at help at buona.tv. Help at buona.tv. Those are two most effective ways. Don't send me YouTube messages. All right. Don't. And don't ask a question in a comment of another YouTube video that has nothing to do with what you're asking. That's those are just not effective ways. So those are the two most effective ways. So Jacob, he found me by one of the most effective ways. He did email and he asked, I'm doing upgrades to my PC. I'm adding RAM and I'm adding a hard drive. I saw a one terabyte drive on Newegg, but my computer uses IDE and not SATA, which is serial ATA, SATA, SATA, S-A-T-A. Is there any way of hooking up that SATA drive to my IDE PC? So Jacob, you got a PC with no uh, SATA, and uh, you, you, you're wondering how to get that one terabyte drive on your computer. Now, I got two options for you, and it's going to depend on what you have. Um, given you're telling me you don't have uh, SATA, so I don't know if you're going to have a PCI Express slot or not. So my first recommendation for you is to get a PCI Express controller card. What does that do? Well, that'll give you the ability to hook up a SATA drive to your computer. It hooks up to your PCI Express slot. And then you can use your own SATA drives with this particular card. Um, and it gives you eSATA as well. So you can plug in the external. I believe it has an internal on this one as well. I uh, don't see it, but you might want to check into that. But that's, that's my first recommendation is to get an adapter card. Get something to expand your computer so you can, uh, you can support eSATA or SATA on your computer. Uh, so the first recommendation is this is, uh, SIG. SCSAA212 on Newegg.com. Just search for your SATA controller card on, on Newegg and you'll find it. It's one of the first hits. This one is $46. $46. There's others which are, I believe, a little bit cheaper. Let me see. Uh, let's see, similar products. Uh, yeah, they got, a, they got a few here for $25. They got uh, one eSATA port and one. Uh, okay, the cheaper ones have. ESATA and one ESATA which is external and one SATA 2 internal. So these are about $25. So if you look hard enough, you can find one for as low as $25 to add to your budget. And that'll allow you to put an internal drive. You can get an internal uh, SATA drive and just pop it in your computer and connect it to this. So that's one of the, the, the easiest solutions, I think. Now the other solution may be a little bit more expensive, but you may like it. What you can do is you can get an external USB enclosure which has an eSATA uh, adapter in it. So these sell for as little as $37. Here's one for, uh, I'm looking on newegg.com again, you may find something cheaper. Um, they range between 30 and some of them even as high as $100 because they have a lot of bells and whistles. But you can get a USB enclosure that allows you to get, take that SATA hard drive you buy from Newegg, plop it in an enclosure and then just connect it via USB. So if you got a USB slot, USB 2.0 slot, you can use it that way. Obviously, the most ideal solution is to have an internal. So if you want to spend $25, if you got a PCI Express slot, like I said, it depends on PCI Express. If you have a PCI Express slot, use that. If not, you have to go to USB route. So those are the two ways I recommend, Jacob, that you should get that SATA drive onto your PC uh, if you only have IDE. All right, I hope that answered your question. If not, let me know. All right, this is Warner from Warner.tv. Thanks for the question, Jacob.